Hi, I'm Linda Fraser from Linda R. Fraser Glass Sculpture. In this video you'll see the preparation of a sandcast mold. Now, in the particular method of sandcast glass I use, I prefer having my prepared sand in a metal tray and making my impressions in the metal tray. This is an efficient method to work in. You use less sand. You can make more complicated pieces as well because the sand glass and pan all go in the kiln together so you don't have to disturb the piece. Now in making your impressions which is your mold you'll be taking your forms impressing them in the sand making sure there's sand underneath the piece all around the piece and it's firmly packed. You also need to level the surface of the template it's good if you have a level table to begin with. And don't forget to level the table you'll be pouring from. There are various types of templates you can use. Some are thin, very simple to impress in the sand. Others you need to be really careful with all the edges. But packing the sand firmly and having a nice firm surface to the whole pan before you pull the template out is very important. In this case I've got more than one piece in a pan which also shows you the efficiency you get from working in this method. Now I'm cleaning away all the sand because when you pull these pieces out of the sand you first want to rock them gently back and forth and you don't want any of the loose sand falling back into the void. The void is going to be your mold. It'll be the prime determining factor having a nice level stable piece of sculpture in the end. Now if you remove the tem the sand, the this is going to surface the carbonize. You will then put sifted glass powders, decorate it, add pieces of other glass, and make sure the edges are nice and cleared of sand so that when you pour the hot glass it the loose sand doesn't fall back in. And be patient. Take the time with your sand. Take your time with the template and the impression and you'll have a nice resulting sculpture in the end.